everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today is the day. TXC's comeback is here. We have Good Boy Gone Bad the music video as well as the album Thursday's Child. I will be doing a listen to the album over on Patreon later today. Um, I'm a little bit late because I went to the gym, but I'm here and I'm excited. So let's get into it. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, I did react to all of the like concept clips and the highlight medley last week. Um, but I said in that that I wasn't going to watch or react to the MV teasers, um, and I haven't. So in terms of this MV, I have no idea what to expect. Also, they gave us basically nothing <laughs> of the song itself in the highlight medley, so kind of feel like I'm going in completely blind, even though I have seen a couple of things. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this. Will this be the era that I finally choose a bias? We'll see. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Leggy. Oh. 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 You know what? We'll turn on captions for the second time. The melody of this is beautiful. Oh, whisper at me. Oh. Hey. Okay, yeah, obviously we're going through this a second time. Ah, Kai's voice. Ooh. This pre chorus is beautiful. This looks like something that should come out at Halloween. <laughs> I like them back. I'm scared. Oh, the vocals over the top there. Okay. Okay, much to digest, much to process. Like I said, we're gonna go through that again because obviously that is what I do. Is there anything at the end? No, okay, cool. Um, yes, much to process. I'll be very intrigued to see what, like, general thoughts are on this because it feels very different. Although, obviously, like... You know, last year they really started leaning into that more kind of pop rock kind of sound, right? Um, <clears throat> even though they've still got those elements in there, it still feels very, very different from 
anything that they have done before. Um, so I'll be intrigued to see what people's thoughts are on that. I think it's, I think it's going to take me a sec to process. I don't know how I feel right now. Like I like it because you know I. It's very rare for me to dislike something that drops, but no, I don't know if I don't think I was ready. <laughs> I don't think I was ready for that. Uh, but we'll go through it again. Um, there is also something about that chorus, that hook, and the the music video itself. Some of the scenes in it felt very second gen reminiscent, but I don't know exactly like what group or song or anything like that it specifically reminds me of. It just gives me gives me the vibes. You know, and I, yeah. So if anyone else kind of gets that, let me know. And if you know what it specifically reminds you of, tell me because I can't think. But hmm. Okay, let's go through it again. I will obviously pause during this and process things. This opening scene, like that, uh, terrifying. I hate it. I hate it. That, that like heavy distortion there. On that bass. Love the harmonies over the top. Love the do 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 do. The... Uh, this choreo looks cool as hell. Their choreos always look cool. Their choreos are always fantastic. Like, they really go in. Um, I think part of it is because they're all so tall. Like, it, I don't know, it just makes their choreos look so big. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but there's just something very, like, expressive and expansive about their choreos, which I really, really love to watch. Even like here, like the way that they're crouched down, they still look like giants. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Also Kai, like, you know, I, I said in the beginning about how, you know, is this the era that I finally uh, pick a bias? Like my, my front runners have kind of flip-flopped between Tay, Bongyu, and Kai. Um, and at the moment it's Kai, but it's it's real hard, man. It's real, real hard. Like, I don't want to be triple biased in a five-member group. That just seems ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe I'll just have to wait until I finally um, dive into, like, uh, to do TXT, which I do plan on doing over on Patreon at some point, hopefully in the near future, because I really, really want to watch it. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe I won't be able to pick a bias until then, because at least in terms of, like, performance biases and, you know, music videos and stuff, like, I... It, flip flop so often but but Kai is oh he's just got this like real superstar quality to him that I find very engaging you know like his face his voice I'm just like I always end up looking at him anyway. that little bit of husk in his voice This pre-chorus. This pre-chorus is like haunting and beautiful and melodic. I, I really, really like this pre-chorus. I think the only thing that I'm not like 100% sure on how I feel about it is the chorus itself. But that might have just been because I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> but this pre-chorus, stunning. The harmonies, the really soft instrumental. The melody itself, oh, gorgeous. They need to stop whispering at me. There's a lot of whispering happening in the song. And I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I love that riff. I 
definitely gonna get stuck in my head, that's for sure. I'll be trying to go to sleep tonight and I'll just be like, they'll be good boys, can't bear. <laughs> oh. I love that dee -dee 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 -dee. I love that on the guitar on the second verse. He sounds so good on that line. Mm. And then he I, I thought it was here. There's a little thing that Tay does with his voice here. It's just like a little like like flick, a little break. Like I don't really know how to describe it because I don't know vocal terms well enough, but like it's just this tiny little detail and I love it. There. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, Subin's vibrato on that little bit there. I think it's that scene. It's this scene in the graveyard that is giving me major second gen vibes, and I can't think of. Is it shiny? Maybe. I don't know, but it's it's giving me the vibe. Oh, the X is on there. Oh, that riff is so good. Yeah, okay. All right, the chorus gets better the more you listen to it. <laughs> I love that they have a similar but different kind of melodic slow down bridge as they do for the pre-chorus. I really, really like it. It gives you such a nice reprieve from the intensity of everything else. Oh. oh, he sounds so good. That's terrifying. That little fucking Joker giggle. Terrifying. <laughs> I like him back. Oh! Oh, with the kick! I did not notice that for the first time. Hey. hey. Oh, the, the vocals over the top on this last bit are stunning! Ooh. So you have that little ad lib there. <laughs> ah, ah, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. Damn. Ah, they really brought a different energy for this one. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if I like it as much as some of their previous stuff. Like, I don't think it's going to be, like, my new favourite title track from them by any means, but it's good as shit. Like, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's... Like, it's just got that... that kind of grit, badass energy. It's going to be great in the gym. This is going to be one of those songs I'm going to listen to while I'm working out, and I'm going to be unstoppable. One of those it's one of those songs <laughs> i love those songs <laughs> ah i actually need to make a new gym playlist uh because i've just been shuffling random shit and it's not great but um for like motivation in the gym when suddenly like you know something slow and sad comes on it's like oh 
Well, so yeah, I need to make a new gym playlist. This will be going on it for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I like that a lot. Um, it's kind of interesting with TXT when you think about where they started <laughs> and where they are now, like conceptually and sound wise, it's literally night and day. Um, it's kind of, what I like about it though, is it feels like it's been like a very natural progression. Like they've kind of, it's not like they suddenly went boop and suddenly went to a dark concept. No, it's like been this very like slow shift. And I really, really like that. Um, cause they've shown so many different sides of themselves and it's all felt very TXT, but because of this like very slow shift and this slow evolution, um, but it, it allows them to explore so many different avenues and styles. And that's really, really cool. But yeah, if you were, if you were to, if you were to like, if someone who was completely new to TXT checked out this and went and went and then, then checked out like Crown or Cat and Dog, you'd be like, Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Uh, but when you actually like follow follow it through, it makes more sense. Um, it's very, very cool. Anyway, good job, boys. Good job, good job, good job. I like that a lot. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I will be over on Patreon a little bit later today, checking out the rest of the album. Very excited for it from what we heard in the highlight medley. Everything sounds incredible. And I think... Um, I think for sure some of my favorite songs on this album are going to be in the b-sides uh which isn't unusual for me but <laughs> i think it's definitely true here um because yeah they just sound really really good but anyway yes i'm going to end this one here let me know what your thoughts are like i said i'd be very interested to know what the general reception of this is because it does feel very very different uh but let me know and yeah i will see you guys soon bye bye <coughs>